What's the dumbest thing you've done on a dare? Um, I mean, it was a job I didn't care about anymore, but the, the old <laughs> McDonald's story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was working the drive through and all the guys working the grill like, who dare you to swear at a customer? I'm like, Pfft, easy. Uh, okay. And they all put some money together. It ended up being like 40 bucks. Ooh, Which at that time oh we're talking Hell about yeah. we're talking about nineteen ninety five dollars. Yeah, yeah, nineteen ninety five dollars, which in today's dollars would be like four hundred dollars. Oh my god, I remember yeah. my paychecks were like thirty six bucks. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I was done with this job for the most part anyway. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, uh, what's the worst that could happen? But I did it, and uh, I did get the money, and then I also got fired. Yeah. Well, you said f you to a customer on the drive through. Uh, hey, you effing idiot. <laughs> what do you want? And did you get and fired? It was, and it was a woman, was a and mom, she had a right? bunch of kids oh, in the car. Because oh, no. no. like when, the, when the car pulls up, it, uh, all of a sudden it opens the line. You know, like you, hear, you can hear the, uh, the engine on the other side. And so I'm like, hey, you effing idiot. What do you want? <laughs> like no speaking, just the, the engine. Hello? I go, yeah. What the F do you want? And then... Oh, <laughs> driving around in the window, and I see it's a woman and these kids. I'm like, oh, oh man. And man. the thing was, I couldn't apologize. I wasn't allowed to apologize. Oh. Like, and I couldn't mumble it. So if they said what, I'd have to repeat it, which I did. <laughs> and, and then the- uh, Was part of the dare you had to fess up? Oh, yeah. I couldn't deny it. Oh, and so well, That's how the firing happened. <laughs> There's no like, oh, I no. would have been fired anyway, but, you yeah. know. But you had that severance money. But you had the yeah, forty had the bucks severance. in severance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I had that, that was like a month. Money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> forty bucks. Ah, uh, the yeah. old McDonald's on Mount Lebanon Boulevard. Good place. I have nostalgia every time I go there. You want bet? Yeah. Still, I tell my existence? kids, you know, this is the McDonald's is that Daddy used to work. Mm -hmm. I got fired from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight seven seven forty four. Woody. Anybody else in the room? Like dumbest thing dumbest you've done on the dare? Thing I did was like ingest probably like a nickel size amount of hand sanitizer oh. on a day. Oh. <laughs> I was drunk at the time. Hell yeah. There's alcohol content in the hand sanitizer. Yeah. And so I swallowed it. Oh. And I wouldn't say this was a menace reset. This was just a full on vomit. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I did, yeah. unlike menace, make it to the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, you, exactly. You throw it up. I not, mean, not the sink. <laughs> you've heard like but that people was hella stupid who are yeah. such severe alcoholics like they'll oh, they'll drink it they'll perfume. ingest that stuff on it's purpose crazy. Yeah. Oh. just Sanitizer. try to get drunk yeah it was not good god yeah. mm -mm. when i was 15 we used to <laughs> i was dating a girl i know nice. and uh Yuck. Her, her mom <laughs> yucky <laughs> her mom didn't give a rat's ass <laughs> what we did so we would take her car out oh. and didn't have licenses 15 obviously and then um i would be driving down this road curvy road double solid yellow line and everybody in the car that i'm driving with it's this person ahead of us is going too slow pass them and i'm on a curve yeah double yellow, and i'm like okay oh god speeding around them on a curve looking back now yeah. thinking what head-on collision oh sure or how many head-on collisions i could have gotten into yeah. like, you know there'd only be one of course but it was insane and because everybody said just do it just do it yeah. okay i will Driving without a license. I forget what it was called, but there was like um like a like a ramen place that my buddy went to. And it wasn't on a dare, but it was one of those things like, you know, bet you can't eat the whatever ramen. Right. And they have yeah. this oil that they put on top of, you know, the spicy a, a, oil. That, yeah, it just sits oh, on the surface. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And like my buddy damn near died. Oh like wow. it was so friggin' hot. <laughs> like he couldn't breathe. Oh wow! Oh. He was having a hard time breathing. Jay, and he's like kind of like Greg. Like you know, he's not a shy eater. And will try pretty much anything. He's like, ah, whatever. How bad could it be, dude? <laughs> yeah, this. It was no joke. The spicy thing I can't mm -hmm. do anymore. Yeah, it was. It was no joke. <laughs> What's the dumbest thing you've done on a dare? Who hasn't gone yet here in the studio? Uh, I haven't. I think. Oh, I mean, I've done good. a ton of stuff from. Yeah. Radios. Yeah. Like snorting hot sauce, and my nose started bleeding immediately. He also picked up a turd out of the. Uh, at, at a, the toilet, at, at the radio toilet, station, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, with his bare hand. What? Endless stuff, yeah. Yeah, I forget, what did you have to do with that? <laughs> I'll bring it to one of the boss's office oh. and uh, show yeah. it to him. And I did. Hey, look. Yeah, it's all on video. <laughs> what, did <you> say? Uh, <laughs> what did you say, there was a problem with it? What was the premise there? I was like, hey, hey look. look. <laughs> because he was sitting at his desk. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, check this out. Hey, hey look. look. Look at this poop. Yeah. It was uh, like something Woody's daughter would have done when he was three. Yeah. Yeah, but I think... I mean, it's mild, but I could have got in a lot of legal trouble. Is um, I think when I was junior in high school, I guess as a prank, we like we painted a bench green, right? Mm -hmm. And then 
months and months later, the school finally painted it back to the normal color. And then one night we we said, hey, let's go back and paint it green again. So we broke into the school (laughs) with a bunch of paint buckets and repainted it. But I don't know if not not every school is like this, but at least the schools that I went to, somebody lived on campus. There was like a little really portable house to like oversee the the property. And that person would just happen to be roaming around. So we ran, <laughs> we ran out after we painted the bench and left like all the paint buckets and stuff. Uh, seat bass. Well, yeah, I've never been dared. I've always been very uh, self, uh, much of a self starter when it comes yeah, to sure. things. Like <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. So all this sta- prompting needed. All yeah. the stapling yeah. stuff I've done, uh, jumping out of buildings, stealing construction equipment. What do you mean jumping out of buildings? Like not not like super high, like you know, second story under the first, uh, you know, okay, like fifteen gotcha. feet or so. Yeah. Um, it, eating disgusting things. <laughs> uh, I think the sta- the best, my favorite stapling one was it was. This is very much Steve-O inspired because he used to staple his sack to his leg. Yeah. All right, they call the Batman, right? Uh, yeah, or the Batwing. I didn't quite go that far because yeah. it was a school event, but this sorority was hosting like a hey, best man on campus or whatever, mm-hmm. and so I said, hey, sorority, I love you, and uh, to show how much I love you, took my shirt off and stapled their sorority letters to my chest. They did not like that at all. Uh, <laughs> wow. Why not? Didn't what? care for that, huh? <laughs> didn't impress them? Yeah, all the yeah. blood and stuff. Was no. not, <laughs> that was kind of the idea. I was, I was, I was in tribute. Uh, yeah, I was, I was tributing <laughs> that. I was so honored. Yeah, we uh, never stole like a big backhoe or anything. We, we tried. We just couldn't sure. get the right keys. We, I know. We got yeah. scissor lifts and stuff, like little yeah. things. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I know stuff like b- busting mailboxes is a big thing in high school. I think I've talked about that. We did like 100 <laughs> in a night. Uh, Could have gotten in a lot of trouble for that. Yeah, yeah. 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 big time. Oh, yeah. well. Uh, Sammy. I, like Seabass, have done a lot of things voluntarily. <laughs> when I come up, though, with a dare, and the only reason that it, this is one of the dumbest is because of how many people it ended up affecting and the consequences, which was, you know, when I was younger at cheer camp. Oh, um, man. <laughs> oh, what? We, we had a new coach who brought us to a new camp that year that we didn't want to be at, and she was forcing all of us to try out for All Star, and we didn't want to do it. It was a voluntary thing at the camp. Jeez. And she said, not for you. You have to do it. I've watched this movie before. <laughs> and this one time? At band camp? <laughs> at cheer camp? Right, exactly. And so uh, I was dared to basically go up during the tryouts that you do in front of everybody and bomb purposely. Oh, okay. So oh, I wow. did that. At, and uh, at the trickle-down effect was it was so funny everybody started doing it after and then we all had to run for three hours after because we all got in oh, trouble. No. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> and considering Fun. everybody's barfing up their lunch on purpose. Yeah. 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 Cheer camp. Getting, Why didn't yeah. you want to go to nationals? I Come know. On. Jeez. All it was stars. all-star. It was not nationals. Yeah. They're very different. Oh. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you got caught recording the other team's routine. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Give me an ass. My dad's side, it makes a lot of sense, but uh, went to like a family gathering and my two of my dumbass cousins, these these guys are so stupid. Anyway, but uh, someone goes, hey, Rick, my Uncle Rick, hey, Rick, better go check on your boys out in the yard. Now, they're adults, okay, right. at this point. And the one is holding a can on the top of his head, like with one hand. And the other one is, you know, about, you know, like I said, about, you know, 15, 20 yards like this, trying to shoot the can off the top of his head with a BB gun. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These are now, two adult. grown adults. Yeah, two grown ass adults. Oh my god, I would have done hey, that. Hey Rick, 10. better go check on your boys. <laughs> and no Idiots. like face protection whatsoever. No, I think, <laughs> the, I, think I don't. I'm not sure if you still do. My one, my one cousin, one of those idiots, runs like a karaoke company now. Sweet. Yeah, things nice. are going nice. well. Things are going well. <laughs>